Sing. <laughs> Let's make. Oh, wow. You're here early. I hope you don't mind I'm still eating my breakfast. Did you already eat? I'm having some cereal. Each morning, I pour my favorite cereal into a bowl, add milk, and eat. Eating a good breakfast helps me get ready for my school day. Wait, that gives me an idea. Why don't we draw a picture and tell a story about our favorite food? I have a feeling this is going to make me even more hungry. My favorite food is cereal. So I'll start by drawing a picture of cereal. Watch. Does my drawing look like my best kindergarten work? Let me take out my drawing checklist to be sure. The people in my drawing have bodies and hair. Well, there are no people in my drawing, so I don't have to worry about that. I added details to the background. I think I'm going to need to add details. Right now, it looks like my bowl of cereal is just floating in the air. I can add a table, a spoon, maybe even a cup of juice. My drawing checklist also reminds me to use real life colors. I need to think about what my cereal bowl really looks like. I also need to make sure I use at least three colors in my drawing. There, now that I have drawn my picture, I'm going to write about it. I'm going to use a label to tell about something in my picture. I drew a bowl of cereal, so I want to write the word cereal. What do I need to do to spell cereal? I know, I can stretch out the word cereal and listen for the sounds of letters to write. When I write, I start at the left side of the page and move to the right. I will start here and move this way. Listen to the word cereal. S cereal. I hear the s sound. I know s spells the s sound. Cereal. I hear ear. But I don't know what letter spells that sound. I can use a magic line. A magic line shows that I hear a sound, but I don't know the letter that spells the sound. Cereal. I hear the L sound at the end. I know letter L spells the L sound. Cereal. I also drew a spoon. I want to write the word spoon. 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 I hear the oo sound, but I don't know which letter spells that sound. So I'm going to use a magic line. Spoon. Spoon. I want to label one more thing. My cereal and spoon are on a table. I'll write table. 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 I hear the b sound, but I forget which letter spells that sound. Do you remember what I can use when I hear a sound, but I don't know what letter to write? Did you say a magic line? That's right. I can use a magic line. 
table. Table. I think I'm finished. Now I'm going to look back at my illustration and writing. I drew cereal and I wrote the word cereal. I drew a spoon and I wrote the word spoon. I also drew a table and I wrote the word table. It's important that our words tell the same story as our picture. Now it's your turn to tell a story about your favorite food. What is your favorite food? That sounds delicious. Talk to your learning coach about the food you picked. Then draw your picture. Don't forget to use what you've learned about adding color and details as you create your illustration. When you're finished drawing, it'll be time to write. Remember, we can use pictures and words to tell a story. You can label an important part of your story with a naming word. Your story is about your favorite food. Stretch out the sounds in the name of the food you picked and write your label. It's okay if you don't know all of the sounds that you hear. Just write the letters for the sounds you know. If you hear a sound but aren't sure of the letter that spells that sound, Use your magic line. Now take your time and tell a story about your favorite food. I'm going to go grab a snack. I'll see you soon.